When I first heard that Boren was sending people to Oman, I was a little skeptical. I'd heard, this is a very conservative country, the women won't talk to you, nobody does anything outside their family, it's boring, it's mostly guest workers and they don't speak Arabic anyway. So I probably would not have gone to Oman if it weren't for the Boren Fellowship. And thank God that I did, because what I found was a warm country with even warmer people. Uh, Omanis are anxious to show you how beautiful their country is, the natural wonders, the food, the culture that stretches back thousands of years, the religious traditions. It's just such a rich and uh, amazing place. The people in Oman are the kindest in the Middle East, I've found. And that doesn't just go for the native Omanis. It also goes for the Egyptians, the Lebanese, the Iraqis that you'll meet there, and the Indians and Pakistanis who have lived there for years and years and probably speak better Arabic than the average American coming to Oman. Once I got there, people wanted to show me the wadis, these beautiful valleys coming through uh, the mountains. They wanted to show me how beautiful the desert was in the moonlight, spending a night camping out there. They wanted me to try fish freshly caught from the Gulf. Uh, everyone was just so excited about what Oman had to offer, and it was totally unexpected. Omanis will stop when your car breaks down, and they will drive you an hour out of their way to take you to the closest mechanic, no matter how in the middle of nowhere you are. They will invite you to a Ramadan dinner with their whole entire extended family and make sure you meet everyone and, and feel comfortable there. They'll take you to their favorite shisha spot for a night on the town. Even the highest religious authority in the land, the Grand Mufti, is willing to sit down and chat to just some random foreigner. I am so thankful for the Boren Fellowship allowing me to go to Oman to study Arabic. This is a classical language of modern importance. It's the language of Holy Revelation and Al Jazeera, of medieval joke books and Palestinian poetry, of philosophy from El Andalus and pop music from Egypt. But most importantly, Arabic is the language of living, breathing people, like the guy who cut my hair in Arlington yesterday, and the kids that I teach in Michigan. And the Boren Fellowship didn't open up this world for me. I had been studying Arabic, but the Boren Fellowship allowed me to live in this world in a way that I never would have been able to without it. And now the Boren Fellowship is gonna be my key to starting a career where I can use Arabic every day, continue to grow, and live in this language that I love.